Let's talk about the essence of true wealth. It's not just about hoarding a million dollars in your bank account. It's about the journey of growth, the lessons learned, and the person you evolve into along this path. Picture this. A young fellow named Tom living in a world where wealth was often seen through the lens of envy and mystery believed millionaires were a different breed altogether. Tom, much like many of us, was caught in the trap of everyday routine thinking wealth was out of reach, something reserved for the lucky few born into it. But here's where the twist comes in his story. One Sunday morning, Tom sat in a local coffee shop overhearing a conversation that shifted his entire perspective on wealth. A self-made millionaire was discussing not just how much he had earned, but what he had learned and how he had grown. He spoke of wealth not as a destination, but as a journey of becoming more skilled, more aware, and more valuable to others. This stranger's words were like a key unlocking a new door for Tom. He started to see that becoming wealthy was not about the external accumulation of money, but about internal development. The real question wasn't, how can I make a million dollars? But who do I need to become to be worth a million dollars? Tom realized that every step towards wealth was also a step towards self-improvement. It wasn't just about earning more, but about becoming more, more disciplined, more knowledgeable, more empathetic. He understood that the path to becoming a millionaire was paved with personal development, constant learning, and a deep desire to contribute meaningfully to society. The journey to wealth, then, is intertwined with the journey of personal growth. It's about facing challenges that push you beyond your limits, seizing opportunities that expand your horizons, and making choices that reflect your values and principles. So, when we talk about setting a goal to become a millionaire, it's not just about the allure of financial freedom. It's about embarking on a transformative journey that changes how you see the world, how you see yourself, and how you impact the lives of others. It's about cultivating a mindset where you're not just chasing money, but you're chasing a better version of yourself, and in doing so, creating wealth that's not just financial, but holistic. This perspective, as Tom discovered, turns the dream of becoming a millionaire from a distant desire into an achievable, fulfilling journey of personal and financial growth. It's not just about what you accumulate in your bank account, but what you cultivate in your character and your life. Now, I want you to imagine that, just two people from the same background with the same opportunities and challenges laid before them. One sees a world teeming with possibilities, ripe for the taking, while the other sees a daunting landscape of insurmountable obstacles. What separates these two individuals? It boils down to self-worth and belief in one's capabilities. Self-worth is not just a fancy term. It's the foundation upon which we build our lives, our dreams, and our accomplishments. When you recognize your inherent value, you no longer see life as a series of obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and achievement. This is not about arrogance or false pride, but an unshakable belief in your ability to navigate life's complexities and emerge victoriously. Now consider this. Have you ever met someone who exudes confidence, not from arrogance, but from a deep understanding of their value and capabilities? These individuals view challenges as stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. They understand that in the fabric of life, every experience, every setback, and every triumph is a thread contributing to the strength and beauty of the tapestry. On the other hand, individuals who struggle with self-worth often perceive these same threads as knots and tangles in their life's fabric. They feel as though they're constantly fighting against the weaves, seeing only the snarls and not the picture they're creating. Why is it that two people with similar abilities and circumstances can perceive their paths so differently? It's their belief in their own value and capabilities. Believing in yourself doesn't mean ignoring your flaws or overestimating your strengths. It's about acknowledging your potential, learning from your mistakes, and always striving to better yourself. To understand this further, let's dive into the story of Anna and John, two entrepreneurs with contrasting perspectives. Anna, despite facing numerous failures, 
saw each as a lesson, believing in her worth and her journey towards success. She viewed her business not just as a means to make money, but as a platform to grow, learn, and contribute to the world. John, however, saw every failure as a confirmation of his fears and doubt. His belief in the inevitability of his downfall clouded his vision, preventing him from seeing the growth opportunities right in front of him. So, what made Anna succeed where John struggled? It was her understanding of personal value and her belief in her capabilities. Anna knew that success in life isn't just about avoiding failure. It's about how you respond to it, how you learn from it, and how you allow it to shape you into a better, more capable individual. In essence, understanding your personal value and believing in your capabilities is like having a key that unlocks the door to opportunities. It's about seeing the world not as a battleground of obstacles, but as a landscape ripe with potential for growth, learning, and success. So, I urge you to ask yourself, do I see my life as a continuous opportunity for growth, or am I merely dodging obstacles? Your answer could very well be the first step in transforming your understanding of self-worth and your belief in your capabilities. Let's unfold the narrative of goals, their power, and their undeniable influence on the journey to financial success and personal fulfillment. Think about this. Setting a goal isn't just about deciding you want something. It's about creating a vision for your life that pulls you forward. Now, let me share with you the story of Lisa a woman I knew who embodied the power of clear, ambitious goals. Lisa was an ordinary person, much like anyone you might pass on the street. But what set her apart was her clarity of purpose and her ambitious goals. Lisa didn't just wish to be financially stable. She aimed to be financially abundant. She didn't just hope to make a living. She planned to make a life that was rich in experiences and achievements. Now, why is it so crucial to set these kinds of clear, ambitious goals? Because they act like a compass, guiding your actions, influencing your mindset, and propelling you towards success. Lisa's goals were so potent that they shaped her daily actions. She would wake up each morning with a sense of purpose, knowing exactly what she needed to do to move closer to her financial and personal aspirations. Her goals were her beacon, illuminating the path through the fog of daily distractions and potential setbacks. Whenever faced with a decision, she asked herself, does this align with my goals? This simple question became her powerful tool for maintaining focus and direction. But here's something critical to understand. The magic isn't just in setting the goals. It's in the journey they inspire you to undertake. For Lisa, each step toward her goals was a step in her evolution. She grew, not just in financial acumen, but as a person, becoming more disciplined, more resilient, and more attuned to the possibilities around her. Her journey illustrates a vital lesson. Achieving financial success is as much about who you become as it is about what you accumulate. And this is where many miss the mark. They set goals with a focus purely on the end result, not realizing that the true value lies in the growth experienced along the way. Consider this. Why do some people, even after achieving their financial goals, still feel unfulfilled? It's because the goal was only about the money, not about personal development or the broader impact of their achievements. The most fulfilling goals are those that transform you that challenge you to learn, grow, and contribute beyond yourself. So how do we set goals that not only promise financial success, but also lead to personal fulfillment? Start by envisioning a goal that stretches you, that challenges you to learn more, do more, and be more. Make your goals ambitious enough to excite you and clear enough to guide you. Each goal should be a stepping stone to becoming the best version of yourself enriching not just your bank account, but your character and your life experience. In wrapping up, remember Lisa's journey and the transformative power of her goals. They were not just about reaching a financial milestone, but about creating a life of purpose, growth, and fulfillment. So I encourage you, 
Set goals that don't just aim for financial abundance, but for a richness of life that money alone can't buy. Because in the end, the most valuable currency we have is not dollars in our bank account, but the person we become in pursuit of those dollars. Education and self-improvement, ladies and gentlemen, are not just terms we throw around in academic circles. They are the bedrock of true success and fulfillment. Imagine this, your mind is a treasure chest and lifelong learning is the key that unlocks this treasure. Let me tell you about Sarah, a woman whose story is a testament to the transformative power of education. Sarah grew up in a modest home where luxury was a foreign concept and financial struggle was the norm. But even as a young girl, she had an insatiable thirst for knowledge. She read books not just as an escape from her immediate reality, but as a window to the vast world of possibilities. Sarah's journey wasn't about formal education alone. It was about continuously feeding her mind with ideas, strategies, and wisdom from various sources. She believed that knowledge was not just to pass exams, but to solve real-world problems, including her financial constraints. Over time, through self-education and relentless self-improvement, Sarah transformed her life. She went from living paycheck to paycheck to becoming a financially independent, successful entrepreneur. Her story illustrates that education is not just about acquiring facts. It's about empowering oneself to change one's circumstances. Now think about this. How often do we limit ourselves, believing that our current knowledge and skills are all we need to succeed? The truth is, the world is evolving rapidly and staying the same means getting left behind. Just as a tree needs constant watering to grow, our minds need continuous learning to expand and thrive. Consider another example, that of a man named Robert. He worked a regular nine to five job, comfortable yet unfulfilled. One day, he decided to take a course on digital marketing, not because he needed it for his job, but out of curiosity. That single decision sparked a passion he never knew he had. Fast forward a few years and Robert has started his own digital marketing firm, helping businesses thrive online. His initial step towards self-education opened a door to a world of opportunities he hadn't even known existed. Both Sarah and Robert show us that education and self-improvement are not just about changing our financial status. They're about changing our lives. They demonstrate that when we invest in ourselves, the returns are not just monetary, but encompass personal growth, increased confidence, and a deeper understanding of the world. So, what can we learn from their stories? It's that we should never stop being students of life, whether it's reading a book, taking a course, or even engaging in thoughtful conversations. Every moment of learning is an investment in our future selves. In the tapestry of success, hard work and discipline are the threads that give it strength and color. Now, let's unravel the myth of overnight success and explore the real journey to becoming a millionaire. Imagine meeting two individuals. One flaunts the title of a self-made millionaire, while the other still navigates the path to financial freedom. The millionaire didn't achieve success overnight. It was the product of consistent effort, day in and day out, through highs and lows, successes and failures. This narrative brings us to a fundamental truth. Wealth is not an accident, but an outcome of relentless pursuit, a symphony of hard work and discipline. Consider the story of Emily who embarked on her entrepreneurial journey with nothing but a vision and an unwavering work ethic. She knew that to build her empire, she needed to invest not just money, but time, energy, and time. Emily would often say, success is like farming. You sow the seeds, tend to them daily, and patiently wait for the harvest. She debunked the myth of overnight success by living the reality of gradual, hard-earned progress. Her wealth was not the result of a lucky break, but the fruit of years of disciplined effort. Now, why is this narrative important? Because in a world seduced by the allure of quick wins and fast cash, the true essence of wealth creation is often lost. We hear stories of sudden riches and meteoric rises, but these are exceptions, not the rule. 
The reality is that building lasting wealth requires a commitment to sustained effort and a disciplined approach to life and business. Hard work and discipline are the engines that drive us toward our financial goals. They are what keep us going when the initial excitement fades and the road gets tough. Without these virtues, even the most brilliant business idea or investment plan is like a ship without a sail, drifting aimlessly in the sea of possibilities. In debunking the myths of overnight success, let's also dispel the notion that hard work and discipline are burdens to bear. Instead, view them as empowering tools that shape your destiny. They are the means through which you transform your dreams into reality, turning the intangible into tangible wealth. But remember, while hard work is about putting in the hours, discipline is about how you manage those hours. It's about prioritizing tasks, staying focused on your goals, and making consistent incremental progress. It's the discipline to say no to short-term temptations in favor of long-term success. In closing, consider this not self-made millionaire. You admire every success story that inspires you is a testament to the power of hard work and discipline. These are not mere virtues, but the very foundation of wealth creation. So, as you venture forth in your journey to financial success, remember that the path may be long and challenging, but with hard work and discipline, you're not just chasing wealth, you're building a legacy. You're crafting a life of purpose, value, and enduring success. Financial intelligence is more than understanding numbers on a balance sheet. It's about mastering the art of making money work for you. It's the ability to manage, invest, and preserve wealth, ensuring a legacy of financial stability and success. Let's begin with money management. It's the bedrock of financial intelligence. Think of your finances as a garden without regular care, watering, weeding, and pruning. The garden withers. Similarly, without a budget, savings plan, and expenditure control, your financial health can deteriorate. Effective money management starts with understanding where your money is going. It means setting a budget, sticking to it, and saving before spending, not the other way around. It's about making conscious decisions to ensure your expenditures don't exceed your income. Now, let's pivot to investments, the engines of wealth creation. Investing is not just for the wealthy. It's for anyone wanting to grow their financial resources. But here's where many falter, mistaking speculation for investment. True investing is not about chasing quick profits. It's about committing capital to assets expected to increase in value over time. It involves research, patience, and a degree of risk management. Diversification is a fundamental principle here. Just as you wouldn't plant only one type of seed in your garden, you shouldn't invest all your money in a single asset. Spread your investments across different asset classes, stocks, bonds, real estate, precious metals, to mitigate risk. Remember, the goal of investing is not to get rich quick, but to build wealth steadily and securely over time. Wealth preservation is the final piece of the financial intelligence puzzle it's about protecting the wealth you've worked hard to accumulate. This involves strategies like insurance to safeguard against unforeseen calamities, estate planning to ensure your wealth is distributed according to your wishes, and tax planning to minimize liabilities and maximize what you can pass on to future generations. Understanding these principles is crucial, but applying them is where the real magic happens. Financial literacy is not innate. It's learned and honed through practice and perseverance. Educate yourself, read books, attend seminars, consult with financial advisors, and most importantly, learn from your mistakes. Financial intelligence is a journey, not a destination. It's a continuous process of learning, applying, and adapting. So to sum up, financial intelligence is a holistic approach to managing, growing, and preserving wealth. It's about being prudent with your expenditures, wise in your investments, and strategic in safeguarding your financial future. By cultivating financial intelligence, you're not just ensuring your own prosperity. You're setting the foundation for generational wealth and long-term financial success. Remember, 
The path to financial intelligence starts with a commitment to lifelong learning and a willingness to take control of your financial destiny. So embark on this journey with determination and foresight and watch as the seeds of your financial intelligence grow into a bountiful harvest of wealth and security. In the grand theater of success, networking and relationships are not just the audience, but also the co-actors playing pivotal roles in the drama of wealth creation. Building a strong network and cultivating relationships with successful individuals are not mere social exercises. They are strategic moves on the chessboard of financial prosperity. Let's talk about the magnetic power of association. Imagine walking into a room where the air is thick with ambition, success stories, and a wealth of experience. In this room, conversations are not just idle chit-chat. They are exchanges of wisdom, opportunities, and potential collaborations. This is the kind of environment where the ordinary can become extraordinary through the sheer influence of association. I recall the story of a young entrepreneur named Mark. When Mark began his journey, he was like a lone wolf, braving the business wilderness with nothing but his wits and will. But as he navigated the complex landscape, he realized the journey to becoming a millionaire was not meant to be solitary. Mark began to actively seek out and build relationships with those who had walked the path before him. These weren't just mentors. They were catalysts for his growth, offering insights that no textbook or course could provide. Through these relationships, Mark's perspective broadened. He learned not only the tactics of business, but also the nuances, the subtle art of negotiation, the timing of investments, and the foresight needed for long-term success. These relationships accelerated his journey, transforming him from a struggling entrepreneur into a successful business owner, well on on his way to becoming a millionaire. Now let's address a common misconception. That networking is a selfish strategy, a means to an end. This couldn't be further from the truth. Genuine networking is about mutual growth and value exchange. It's about forming connections that are not just beneficial, but also supportive and empowering. It's about creating a community where success is shared and celebrated. The impact of such a network is profound. It opens doors to opportunities that were previously hidden, offers support during challenging times, and provides a platform for sharing successes and learnings. But perhaps most importantly, it fosters a mindset of abundance, where helping others succeed becomes a pathway to personal success. In cultivating these relationships, remember that mentorship is a two-way street. It's as much about imparting your knowledge and experience to others as it is about learning from them. This reciprocal exchange enriches the network, making it a powerhouse of collective wisdom and resources. So how can you start building this powerful network? Begin by identifying individuals who embody the success you aspire to achieve. Engage with them, not with the intent of gaining instant benefits, but with the desire to learn and grow. Attend industry events, participate in forums, join clubs or groups that resonate with your goals, and always, always be open to sharing your journey and insights. In conclusion, never underestimate the power of networking and relationships in the journey to financial success. Like the intricate roots of a tree, a strong network provides the nourishment needed to grow your wealth and success. It's not just about the financial tips or opportunities shared. It's about the character development, the shared struggles and triumphs, and the profound sense of community that comes from being part of a network of successful individuals. Building wealth, therefore, is not a solo endeavor, but a communal journey enriched and accelerated by the relationships you cultivate along the way.